All right, we're going to 4th of July. We're gonna do a tomahawk ribeye and some beef short ribs or dino ribs. The tomahawk, I feel like is a waste of money. You're paying for the bone, but hey, whatever. So I'm gonna reverse sear those. I'll either finish them on the Shirley grill or my PK. I told some guys I was gonna do a video on this one last weekend. Uh, but I had some buddies over for a 4th of July party. We had a keg and you know what ensued. I for somewhat forgot about the video. Uh, but as you can see, I went ahead and took the charcoal grate out with the ash pan. I just leave it in, but I figured I'd take it out for the video. Um, in here, you can see where the heat comes in and the deflectors. Um, I've been cooking in pans in this just to keep it nice and clean. Uh, you can see it has the drip guard uh, smokestack. Mm, got your V basket in here. Uh, obviously, I had Tyler and the guys put the uh, extra shelf on there. Uh, this thing, I am right at six foot tall. So to kind of give you some perspective on that, I could stand here next to it. So as you can see, it doesn't take up much space at all. Um, it's 24 by 24. So we'll go ahead and put everything on and see where uh, we come out at. But just a really nice unit. I don't know. I don't know, I, like I said, I had the 36 patio. And uh, for me, I had the wraparound stainless shelf on it. Uh, loved it, it was a great cooker, but I feel like with this one, it just doesn't take up near the space and I've been keeping, I try to keep everything in the garage covered up. You know, you pay such a good amount of money for these and they're so nice. I just hate to see them sitting outside in the rain, even, even with the cover. But uh, like I said, I think on this one, cooking in pans seems to be the best. Uh, and then I ended up getting a, a Cambro and that thing is just unbelievable. Love it. Pull it out. And then just throw it right into the Cambro. Everything gets to rest. It's great. But I think as far as cookers go, like I said, I just don't see how you could go wrong with this. The, the racks are 20 by 20. And I think if you're cooking in pans or not in pans. I mean, I'm saying you could get four nice sized pork shoulders on there or pork butts on each rack, easy. Uh, maybe five, maybe six, it just depends. But for such a small footprint, uh, love it. Just cooks nice, easy to move in and out of the garage. The casters, I've got a little lip in my garage to get over the, to get into it. You gotta pick up just a little bit, but it's nothing too difficult at all. And then I guess something, I don't know, I haven't even tried this yet, but obviously on these you can direct, direct grill if you want. And there's, there's the charcoal rack and, and the basket to catch all your ashes and all that. So, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm more than satisfied. I hope this helps somebody out. Thank you. Happy 4th of July.